Good morning, Margaret Carter. Good morning. And thank you for agreeing to do a little snippet for our Rough Cuts in Iron Woman. And we're talking about accelerating uh, business growth this month. And uh, last night we were talking about just all the different ways now people are buying what they need, whether it's for you know their business or their personal lives, and how if we're going to accelerate the growth of our businesses, we really need to understand how our customers are buying today and how they'll be buying tomorrow. So what could you add into that? I go back and we'll reiterate what Jenny said, people buy from people. Um, you have to have even through your website and through your all your social medias, you have to have the true congruent feeling of your business and it has to come through on that. Um, so that's one thing. The other thing is, uh, so people buy from people, but even through your website and all of that, your character still has to come through so people know and feel you, as it were. Um, you have to, at some stage, toe-to-toe -to -toe with your customers um, and let them actually experience the emotion behind whatever it is you're delivering. Now, the thing about the changing that I understand is that in the future, the ch our children's children will be going, you what? You went to a place with a trolley and you filled it up, you loaded the car, you drove it home and you unpacked it as opposed to having it delivered. Um, I live very isolatedly and we're having all sorts of stuff delivered. Which because and it's cheaper for me or us than to go out shopping, so the the, the world is changing um, everywhere on every commodity on every business it's changing, and we need to be aware of that and we need to keep up keep up and keep on top of the changes. So if you were given advice to perhaps somebody starting in business or somebody wanting to expand their business when it comes to what approach should they take when it comes to selling their product? If you were to give them three top tips, yeah, what would be the first one? Well, first of all, you have to get off your ass and sell. A lot of people think they've got a business, but if you're not selling, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't got anything going on. Money needs to exchange. Um, and you just need to do enough and knock on enough doors. One of my most passionate things is People go, I contacted them. They haven't contacted me back. No, they won't. You have to keep on going till you get a yes or a no. And both those words are gold dust. You know where you are when you've got them. I took eight years to get the best account um, knocking the door for eight years before I got a yes. Wow. So you never know what position the person's in what their lives are like, their love life, their alcohol, their whatever, when they're saying no to you. It could be no for now. So you have to keep going. If you know that's where you need to be in business, selling to that, you know, giving that service to somebody, you just keep on going. They change man managements, etc. Now, another thing also is, my son Rufus keeps on reminding me, is that you have to be absolutely brilliant with everybody because people move around in your industry, one's industry, and they pop up somewhere else. So if they piss you off and you get pissed off with them, they're likely to come up somewhere else mm. in the chain. So that's important. Number two, what would be your second tip? You mean that was only one? That was only one. <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> I'm not good at maths, but... Um, service. One of the things is once you've actually delivered your product, your commodity, your whatever, that's only the very first is first is baby steps. After that comes all of the care you need to take. It's like any relationship, you know, it's like the first kiss is one thing, but after that you have to deliver, deliver, deliver. And you have to never lie and always, always deliver what you say you're going to deliver. And if you can't deliver it for whatever, technical, personal, whatever reason, make an honest phone call. I screwed up, I'm sorry, I put it in the wrong date in the diary, I this, I that, never, never, never lie, you will always be found out. So the success in business, one of the things people like is honesty. It's the purest, purest commodity in my world. Uh, another thing that I, I would like you to almost embrace within tip three would be something around social media. So many women now 
are interested in marketing what they do via social media. And some people say, you know, can I subcontract this out? Or oh, no. is it something I can do myself? How should I be handling this? You know, so when it comes to patchwork traditional foods, selling pate around the world, when it comes to how you use social media platforms, what is it that you use and why? Right. First of all, Facebook is for, it's a different journey. It's a more of a friend's family and it's a friendlier thing. I'm not saying Twitter isn't, but Twitter is definitely a business handle. And there is a voice. Um, we're lucky in Patchwork because we have, for instance, two people who run, not run, but contribute to both Pat, uh, the patch, the Facebook rather and the Twitter. But they are as Patchwork as it comes as people. And so their voice is in the same vein as Jenny Rufus and myself or as the company. So they add to what we put on. Um, but the most important thing is there is nothing worse than faceless anything. Anything without, because people buy from people. So anything that is faceless um, in its emotion is doomed. So how do you fit all that into your time then, Margaret? You know, if you're if you're involved in tweeting and and I know you have a special way of almost like tracking what anyone says about pate through Twitter. Yes, um, there's several of us doing it, looking out, and we between us we catch it. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five of us um, doing different. We we bring different things, but the important thing is we bring different things. But it's all like the same voice. It's all like. I'm sounding like a teenager. It's all like. It's all It's all in the same vein. If I read a tweet or a Facebook, I often have to ask who it is because they sound like any of us. I'm never sure whether it's Rufus or Chris or Natalie um, because it's just in their DNA. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much for sharing your uh, tips and tricks with us on our Iron Woman Rough Cuts. Thank you, Margaret Carter.